The automotive industry in Pakistan is the one of the fastest growing industries of the country, accounting for 4% of Pakistan's GDP and employing a workforce of over 1,800,000 people. Currently there are 3,200 automotive manufacturing plants in the country, with an investment of 92 billion rupees $870 million, producing 1.8 million motorcycles and 200,000 vehicles annually. Its contribution to the national exchequer is nearly 50 billion rupees $470 million. The sector, as a whole, provides employment to 3.5 million people and plays a pivotal role in promoting the growth of the vendor industry. Pakistan's auto market is considered among the smallest, but fastest growing in Asia. Over 180,000 cars were sold in the fiscal year 2014-15, rising to 206,777 units fiscal year 2015-16. At present, the auto market is dominated by Honda, Toyota and Suzuki. However on 19 March 2016, Pakistan passed the auto policy 2016-21, which offers tax incentives to new automakers to establish manufacturing plants in the country. In response, Renault, Nissan, Kia, Sangyong, Volkswagen, FAO and Hyundai have expressed interest in entering the Pakistani market. NLC signed an agreement with Mercedes-Benz for the manufacturing of Mercedes Actros trucks in Pakistan. Pakistan has not enforced any automotive safety standards or model upgrade policies. Obsolete vehicles including the Marin, Bolin, Swift and Ravi continue to be sold by Pak Suzuki. History Topic Early years 1950 to 1969, Pakistan produced its first vehicle in 1953 at the National Motors Plant in Karachi, according to the Ministry of Industries and Production. The plant was opened in conjunction with General Motors who arranged the facilities for the production of Vauxhall cars and Bedford trucks. Subsequently, buses, light trucks and cars would be assembled at the same plant. In the same year, Ford Trucks partnered with Ali Automobiles where they introduced Ford Anglia, Ford Pickups and the Ford Combi. Exide Pakistan also began production of car batteries in 1953. Harun Industries partnered with Dodge Motors in 1956. In 1961, Alwyn Engineering introduced precision auto parts to the Pakistani auto market. In 1962, Lambretta partnered with Wazir Ali Engineering to begin production of the Lambretta TV200 scooter while Kandawala Industries introduced the CJ5 CJ6, CJ7 series Jeep. In 1963, General Tire Pakistan began production in Karachi while High Sons began production of Mack trucks. In 1964, Rana Tractors began producing Massey Ferguson tractors while the famous Vespa scooter and rickshaw were introduced by Raja Auto Cars. In 1965, Jaffer Industries and Mano Motors began operations. Topic nationalization 1970 The 1970s saw nationalization of many companies. 
In 1972, the Pakistan Automobile Corporation was formed. Many companies were bought out or merged into others. Wazir Ali Engineering was renamed to Sindh Engineering, Ali Autos to Awami Autos, Haroon Industries to Republic Motors, Gandhara Motors to National Motors, High Sons to Mack Trucks, Kandawala Industries to Naya Dorm Motors, Jaffer Industries to Trailer Development Corporation and Rana Tractor to Malat Tractors, Dawood Yamaha introduced Yamaha Motorcycle cycles in 1974 and in the same year Beta Engineering started producing diesel engines. In 1976, Suzuki Motor Cycles launched by Sind Engineering. Safe Nadim Kawasaki launched Kawasaki Motorcycles in 1977 while Suzuki Jeep was manufactured by Naya Dorm Motors. In 1980, Awami Motors began manufactured Suzuki pickups while Sind Engineering began producing Mazda trucks. In 1981, Agriato Industries introduced production of local auto parts while in 1982, Pak Suzuki began production of vehicles. In 1983, the Vendor Development and Technical Cell or VDTC was formed along with Al Ghazi Tractors which was introduced by Fiat. In 1986, Hinopak Motors began as a joint venture between Paco, Al Futayam Group, Hino Motors and TTC. In 1987, Gandhara Nissan began production of Nissan diesel trucks. In 1989, Pakistan Association of Auto Parts and Accessories Manufacturers began operation. Topic: Deregulation 1990 to 2009. The industry was highly regulated until the early 1990s. Following deregulation, the decade witnessed a huge boom in auto production, as nationalization was abandoned in favor of privatization. Japan acquired the 40% shares of Pak Suzuki in 1991. In 1993, the Indus Motors Company began production of Toyota Corollas. In 1994, the Pakistan Automotive Manufacturers Association formed, and Honda Atlas introduced manufacturing of the Honda Civic. In 1995, the Engineering Development Board inaugurated the PAP show. From 2002 to 2007, small assemblers and many bike importers started assembling of replica CD70CC with Chinese collaboration. In the year, annual production of bikes reached its higher level, auto sales reached record sales year after year, reaching a peak of 195,688 sales in 2007. Seven. During this period Ofzel Motors began local assembly of Daewoo buses and trucks under license from Daewoo Bus, South Korea and Tata Daewoo, thanks to rising car financing up to 70–80% by banks and low interest rates coupled with rising rural purchases. From 2007 to 2009, the auto sector witnessed reduced sales amid high interest rates and yen appreciation against the rupee. In 2007, the automotive industry made up 2.8% of Pakistan's GDP and contributed 16% to the manufacturing sector. The 2000s also saw the introduction of dual fuel options to run both on petrol and CNG, which is more affordable and cheaper than petrol in the country.
Topic: <laughs> Rapid growth 2010 present. In 2010 the sales rebounded and began increasing again. The auto industry predicted a growing demand in Pakistan and invested over 20 billion rupees $190 million during this decade. Motorcycle production hit a record level in 2016-17, with 2.5 million units made. In 2015, the auto policy 2016 to 21 was introduced to help lure new automakers, which has traditionally been dominated by Honda, Toyota and Suzuki. The auto industry remains the second largest payer of indirect taxes after the petroleum industry in Pakistan. At present, there are 10 cars for every 1,000 people in Pakistan. This is one of the lowest ratios among emerging economies, which itself speaks of high potential of growth. Rising per capita income with changing demographic distribution and an anticipated influx of 30 to 40 million young people in the economically active workforce in the next decade will provide a stimulus to the industry to expand and grow. Toyota started local assembly of its sedan Camry. Similarly, United Motors started first Pakistani Lakli made car Gandhara Nissan started production of Isuzu D-Max in Pakistan. Historical production by year Automobiles Topic: Motorcycles. Topic: Active manufacturers. Topic: Automobiles and commercial vehicles. Topic Motorcycles Topic Defunct Manufacturers Adam Motor Company Nexus Automotive General Motors Chevrolet Daewoo Topic See also Electric vehicle industry in Pakistan <laughs>